Hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to Chronicles of a Crafter. So today we are in our week, I want to say five or six. I'm not really sure. I've lost track. But we're close to the end of our weekly tag challenge. I'm doing this over the course of eight weeks. We are making five by seven tags and turning them into a junk journal or a tag journal. Um, this was a suggestion by AZ and I'm just following through with the weekly tag challenge. I hope you guys are participating. I did check for some, um, some uh, tags of, of Chronicles of a Crafter um, on social media, but I haven't seen any yet. So I'm hoping that you guys are waiting until the end to tag me in your project so I can see what you guys have made. This week I am doing the belly band tag, which is right here. I'm just going to do something super simple just to keep it simple for you guys um, and for myself really, because I'm running out of time on this weekly tag challenge. So yeah, I'm just going to do something super simple and um, create a belly band for um, for our tag. This is my 5x7 paper. I basically took a piece of cardstock and glued them together. So on one side is, um, where is it? It's that paper. Let me just grab a new sheet. It's this paper from We Are Memory Keepers. This was that nursery paper that I didn't think I would really need or use, but it's green, solid green on one side and this pretty pattern on the other. I'm just using it on the green side, so I just took it and folded it over in half, glued them together. As you can see, some of it's showing right through here. Um, just with Scotch Create glue stick and cut it down to five by seven uh, and made these tags, okay? So this is what we're using today for our belly band tag. And I'm just gonna move my prompts out of the way. We're gonna go ahead and start layering some stuff onto here to make our belly bands. So this is what I've decided to do for my belly bands. This is just trash, right? This is a piece of garbage. It looked like, oh, let's see if I can find another piece of it. This is like packaging garbage that would have been thrown away anyway. So I just decided to use it and make um, little pockets out of it. And we're gonna then glue that pocket down to make a belly band. So this was part of that trash that I'm talking about, right? So yeah, I just layered some pockets on top and each pocket looks like this. There's a pocket right here. There's one like right here. <laughs> If I can get my little ticket down in there. So there's one here, here, and here. And then on this one, again, pocket here, here, and down here. And this one is the same thing, right? So this is just paper on top of paper to make these pockets. And I suggest using paper to make your pocket and then gluing it down to a piece of cardstock. So this is like heavyweight packaging cardstock. And then we layer that on top of our tags to make the, the actual tag. And again, this is just like really lightweight coffee dyed paper that I just put a little mushroom stamp on there. This is just some homemade paper that I've made. So this is like decoupage paper. This is where that came from. All right, it's just tissue paper on top of some cardstock um, that I just glued it on with um, Distress Medium and maybe Mod Podge <laughs> uh, to make some of this paper here. And uh, this right here, again, garbage, like, you know, this stuff and um, some paper pockets. So then this is pretty paper, pretty paper, pretty paper, pretty paper. And those are going to be glued down to make an, a belly band, right? So you'll then be able to tuck something back here as well as in all of these pockets here. And I just hand wrote Chronicles of a Crafter and Botanicals. I mean, really simple, right guys? So let's just do it. Um, I'm gonna show you how I made my pockets. So let's just say your belly band, this is about two inches. Let's say your belly band's two inches wide. You cut a piece of paper a little bit wider than it and then you score some gussets down the sides. All right, so this happens to be two and three eighths. So I'm gonna score here at two and an eighth and I will score over here at a, whoops, at a quarter, okay? 
So then you fold back your score marks like so. You can put a pretty topping on the top of the paper like I did with these. I just scalloped, uh, punched those. Actually, some of these I just tore. You know, you can just tear the tops off to make your pocket topper. So like this, ink it if you like, which is what I'd probably do. I'll just ink this and I'll grab any ink dauber with a little bit of ink on it. Right, so you just ink it after you've created your little topper and then you grab your belly band um, and then you glue this down so your measurements will be up to you however you decide to make or however wide you decide to make your um, your belly band but I'm just making mine approximately two inches and then you just first you would start with the top one right because your other pockets have to layer on top of it going down in order for you to be able to tuck. If you glue it the bottom first and then you try to tuck your top one, you know, the next layer up, you'll miss this pocket all completely and the next one after that actually. So you want to start up here at the top and um, again, I just pretty scalloped, clipped the tops here like that, right? So that makes that pattern and then you just layer your pockets on top of here and it's really that simple. That's how I made these little belly band pocket tucks. Okay, so that being said, let's go ahead. Um, I'm just going to adhere my belly band onto, onto this um, tag right here. Just very simply guys, we're not doing anything fascinating today um, and you want to glue just the top section up here oh, my glue okay you want to glue your top section up here just like that and the bottom section down here and then place it down on top of your card just like so okay Get rid of any excess glue that may ooze out at the top and bottom, and that's it. That's that's really, really it. And then I'm just going to take my little um, backing, the little um, spine piece right here, and glue that down. Whoops, my tag is sliding just a little bit. I should probably wait till that dries just a little. But that's really all you're going to do. Do the same thing with this one. I'm just going to create two belly bands for this one right here top and bottom just a little bit of glue I'm gonna put both of these belly bands on this card one on this corner and then one on this corner on the other side so now I've made two belly bands on one tag and I want to move it in just a little bit not like all the way to the edge because once you tuck something behind there you you don't really want it hanging out too far so well I missed it all together so yeah you would tuck it behind there and then tuck it behind there and it won't be hanging out that far you know you would whatever you're tucking back there will be smaller than this okay so yeah that's gonna go like that so, and then for my last belly band, I'm going to do something just a little bit more special. So these were some belts that I picked up at on a Goodwill haul. It was in one of those grab bags that has a bunch of stuff in it. Um, I just went ahead and made myself a little belt belly band, which I thought was fitting. Um, so yeah, I just took one of the belts from that stash and glued it down onto the same paper. So silly, so simply silly. <laughs> All right, so I'm on this one, I'm gonna do something just a little bit different. It'll still be a belly band um, um, tag, but I'm just going to grab some of this really pretty paper. Again, came from a Goodwill haul, I believe, and um, it was a stack of pages or, you know, craft paper. And I'm just gonna make myself a little, a little odd shaped pocket here just gonna do something funky like so and just tear it okay 
just going to tear that off. And um, so yeah, I'm going to make like a pocket up here and then put the belly band across the top. So I'm just tearing this paper to create the pocket that I want. All right. And um, yeah, so this would just be a little torn pocket across the top. And I'll ink this, of course, because I'm creating a lot of a lot of white space up here. Let's see. Yeah, that'll be cute. I think that'll be cute. Okay, so this I will grab some ink for. I'm gonna use my go-to uh, ink. What is this? Ground espresso, and just ink around the edges that are just like that needs it really. So all through here that was torn and I'm going to ink pretty heavily so that it just lends itself to the to the um, watercolor of the paper and and then I will glue down my belly band on top of this little section so this will become a pocket right this will become a little funky pocket right here Oh, that's cute. I didn't think it'll be that cute. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I'm just going to add my Fabrifix glue down here at the bottom along this side right here and along this side over here. And then I will glue this down first, just like this. And I'm um, looking for, oh, here it is, my little dry towel. Okay. So that glue, uh, when as it's drying, it does like, you know, curl up on you, especially around your ink. So just be aware that your Fabrifix glue is kind of like, you know, it's kind of like, uh, I don't know. It's a silicone glue, guys. It's a clear silicone glue that dries clear, but as it's drying, if you do wipe it away, it will like roll up on your fingers, kind of. So that looks, I think that looks cute. And then I'm just going to pop my little belly band right across the middle here and glue that down. And again, I just stitched this. Did I even stitch this? I think I just stitched the belt onto the paper or I looped it around. Yeah, I stitched it right here. And I used the last little belt loop right there and ran some thread through it around the um, around the other side. And then just passed that thread across the back side to hold it down. And that's held in with glue. I didn't take this to my sewing machine at all. So yeah, it's just like um, some wax thread that I had on hand that I use to um, stitch down that that actual belt. And again, these are just some, I don't know. I don't know what these are for. <laughs> they were just in a grab bag um, in a Goodwill haul. I, I had probably maybe seven or eight of them in there. And so here's some more. So I can make lots of other things with this, but yeah, I'm not really sure what they were used for initially, but this is what I'm using it for today today okay so I put a little glue on either side and I'm just gonna hold it in place just for a couple seconds while that glue adheres oh, so cute this came out so cute I like this one a lot yep all right and while that's drying I will grab some clips to hold that down because um, yeah I just really want this to to stay in place and dry properly so yeah these are just some craft clips that you've seen me use a half a dozen times or more so I'm just gonna clip it right there and clip this side over here okay so here's what we've got so far I may ink around the edges of this tag because it does look pretty plain so I'm just gonna ink around the edges just to uh, get rid of this dull green color in the background and kind of like draw your eye to focus on my belly bands otherwise you're probably looking at it like huh, I could have did that <laughs> what a dull tag that is <laughs> but 
say it's what you tuck behind it is what's really gonna matter so yeah I'm just inking it just to blend the tag to the other items the other the other elements on the tag so yeah and then too like it's folded and glued together so I had to cut it so there's some white edges around here so I'm just um, inking it with my ground espresso like one of my faves like go to inks All right. so these are pretty much dry I'm gonna set this one aside let it dry completely and then I'm going to glue down my little uh, spine pieces right here so again my book opens like so my spine will go over here so again some Fabrifix glue and I'm just going to pop this on just like that all right and when it's bulky that's when you grab a clip and clip it in place but you want to clip it open so your tight your um, your spine doesn't glue shut on you so I'm gonna clip these open like that and make sure my spine stays away from the glue okay and this one also my book opens like that so this one will get glued down on this side as well and these are just these are just one inch strips that I scored in half right and uh, these are what I'm using to create the spine of the journal so again I'm just going to add a little fabric fix and glue that down as well so simple guys I'm, I try to keep it simple here on this channel <laughs> sometimes it gets complex most times it's super simple and um, anybody can do this so overall all together we're making a tag journal so um, but yeah there are some complex projects in this process like we've done some really intricate ones but we've also done a couple of easy ones so I really think anybody can partake in this challenge and um, join in on it. Don't forget to tag me in your project so I can see what you guys are up to. And um, yeah, I think I'm going to leave you guys like right here because there's nothing left to do to this one except to show you where everything gets tucked. So I'm going to use this piece of scrap garbage. I have here a big pocket, right? Which isn't really, it's, it's, the, it's a nice thing to have, but it's not really the focal point. Here is our belly band, okay? So this is what today's project was to make, a belly band tag. So we have here this really cute belt belly band right there. Here we have um, a couple of layered pockets here. So on another tag, right? So these have multiple pockets within them. And then here is our big double belly band right through here and again whatever I tuck back here will not be this wide it won't hang off the page so yeah you can either tuck one thing on one side and then something completely different over here or you can tuck something very large that goes all the way through to the other side okay and then we have this single belly band just like this which also has multiple layered pockets on the front all right guys I think that's it I will definitely talk to y'all in the next video. Don't forget to check out my links down below. Um, it's just one link. It'll take you to all my other links, which is, um, it contains like, you know, my Amazon storefront, my buy me a coffee, my email address, my website, um, my Instagram, my um, <laughs> just about any other way that you would like to reach me. You can definitely always tag me or DM me on Instagram and I do respond to all of your comments all the time. So please continue to comment on these videos. Don't forget to share them with your friends and family and hit that thumbs up guys. If you guys like the content here on this channel, don't forget to give these videos a thumbs up I do appreciate each and every one of you for subscribing and sharing and liking and commenting and I'll definitely talk to y'all in the next video stay naturally curious guys bye